Today, I got my hands on a Rokinon Cine Prime lens. It's a 14 millimeter super ultra wide angle lens um, and this is the first cinema prime lens that I've ever got my hands on to so I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat what my first impression was it's awesome <laughs> um, it's made out of a very you know heavy metal um, and it has a really shiny metallic red line around it that gives it a really unique style it just looks so cool I mean just take a look at that I mean, it's just so amazing. Um, now, now, clearly, my T4i isn't equipped enough to take the full frame, you know, image from this lens. But this is what I have right now. So this is, I mean, just, I mean, base, but still, I mean, this lens on my camera just gave me more um, freedom, more control over the lens. I was able to open and close the iris. Um, and just, the focus is just great. It's very hard and, and and heavy, so it gives you that great smooth focus. Same thing with the iris. So if you want to change the iris in the middle of the shot, you can do that. Doing it smooth. Um, it goes as this one. This this fourteen mil goes as fast as three point one. Um, yeah, it's just super super great looking. Um, and it's just amazing. I mean, I took some test shots uh, earlier today at a very high ISO and stuff just to see how it would look. Mm. Nothing specific. I'll post the details on it, but um, check it out. Um, yeah. So what did you guys think? That little bit of footage was shot with this. I mean, just it just looks so amazing, dude. Another thing that I have today is this really cool um, light by Aperture. These bad boys may be small, but there's, I mean, they light up really good. I mean, just check out how bright it gets. Damn, they didn't find me. Like, watch it. Go ahead, Edgar, and light me up all the way, and then light me up. Okay. Okay. Now, now bring it down slowly. Ooh. Bring down the light slowly. Yeah, I mean. That thing is super small, but it's it's incredibly powerful. I mean, I would definitely recommend getting these. I'll post a link. They're fifty bucks each. They're totally worth it. I mean, Aperture has gone a long way, um, and that's why I got their monitor because it's freaking great.